Yo, Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Time to do yet another break. We're going to be doing 2017 Panini Classics Football Half Case. That's a five box break. Number six, eBay style. Come on. Now it is a half case. So let's see. Uh, which exactly am I going to pick? Alright, seeing as how this is the closest to me, I'm just going to pick these five. Make uh, my life a little easier. Boom. We got my five. Let's do this thing. Before I open it up, though, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right. That's it for tonight, Lucas. We're running pretty low on inventory. We need to order some more product, man. But uh, Lucas, I'll tell you what, man. If you can, uh, if you can manage to come up with hundred and eighty dollars. I can hook you up with the rest of the spots in the Immaculate Soccer number block break. You know, go talk to mommy and daddy and say, hey, all I want for Christmas is $180, which uh, could potentially make me some more money in that soccer Immaculate break. It's a shame that soccer doesn't get more love in the store than it does. Because uh, there's really nice stuff in that product, man. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Alright, good luck, guys. I have no, I don't know, Lucas. You tell me, man. Clay Matthews of the Packers to two ninety nine. Well, you get an autograph and a relic per box on average. Rod Woodson, speaking of relics, to two ninety nine for the Steelers, right there. And these cards, we're going to random as well. Uh, I'll start putting them to the side. Because they have uh, two teams on there. So we got to figure out exactly where those cards go. Alvin Kamara for the Saints, the 299. He's been turning it on as of late. Very nice. This year's rookie class, man, has been very, very nice. Those are that's the same team there. This has multiple teams, so gonna have to random those. All right, that's it for that first box. I still got a bunch of packs to open, though. This is true, Rara. This is true. There's been a lot of injuries this year. I know. I know. I talk about that a lot, but I mean, we lost another player 
for the season last night. Curtis Samuel, rookie, out for the year. Uh, before that, uh, Richard Sherman tore his Achilles out for the year. There's been a lot of injuries uh, lately. Or at least this year, I, I can't remember the last time we've seen this many superstars be hurt for the entire season. It's been a little cray. Brandon Cooks, 10.99 for the Saints. See those uh, dual teams on there. Just separating them now. Pretty much, Lucas. I mean, this is uh, this is for the kitties. But there are some nice hits in this, like. Uh, this Melvin Gordon, 3 out of 10 for the Chargers. Pretty sweet. Well, yeah, you might have to, Sports Car Street. Keep in mind, it's a it's an afternoon game, too. The game starts at 12. So if you want to tailgate, you got to be there at the ass crack of dawn. For the Chargers, Keenan Allen... Number two out of 25 with the auto. First auto right there. Go to the Chargers. Luke Keekley of the Panthers, Sepia. That's a short print. Oh, Curtis still has potential. You know, it sucks that he's out for the year, though. Uh, but he'll be back next year, you know. With uh, more experience under his belt, so he should be a better player. Chris Carter of the Vikings to 299. Anybody's better than Ted Ginn Jr. Ted Ginn Jr. can fly, but that's about it. So there's Randy Moss, three different teams on there. So that's got to get randomed. That's it for that first box. We do have four more to go through. Uh, but I'm going to need some space to work with here. His hands are hella sketchy. Like, that's an understatement. He, yeah, he cannot. Oh. Ted Ginn. It's a shame because he's fast as hell, man. He is fast. But he can't catch the ball. Uh, when we buy out the soccer, I can most definitely post another one, Lucas. Uh, I do have four boxes left. Uh, so once I do this one, I'll have three left. So, Lucas, you gonna, are you going to buy it out, dude? If you want the rest of the four spots, Lucas, I can offer you a little discount uh, for those four spots. Let me know, man. I put I put my money where my mouth is. You know, at this rate, that soccer's not gonna fail until the World Cup starts, you know. So let's get that thing moving. Thinks, actually, yeah, they are. They do have the licensing uh, to the MLB. Uh, Donruss does not, though.
Yeah, Panini has licensing again. It's the uh, the Donruss products that don't. It's a shame, though, because Donruss is very nice stuff, man. All right, let's see what's in this box. This is box number two. Chad Hansen to 299 I don't know his pro team, I'll be honest. I'm telling you right now, Lucas G., nobody is going to be interested in that, <laughs> in the Isaiah Ford. <laughs> I might as well I might as well just ship that out to you, dude, honestly. Cause nobody wants it. AJ Green to 299 with the relic for the Bengals. I'm just keeping a G, you know, as uh, as only I can. The only person that would probably want that card is a Dolphin fan. Uh like me. But I'm telling you right now, that's not gonna entice anybody like, oh my god, Isaiah Ford? Oh my god, I got I got I gotta buy into that break now. So I may as well just ship it out to you, Lucas G. I may as well just ship it out to you. To 50, Joe Flacco of the Ravens. Well, in that case, I'm keeping it. What up, Grizz Miz? You come in the room and you don't even say hi. You're just straight asking questions. You know, damn, they don't teach you guys manners in Sweden? By the way, congratulations to the uh, national Swedish team for getting into the World Cup, beating Italy. Eli Manning with the sepia for the Giants. You know, I know you don't care about soccer, but that's a big win right there for Sweden. Beating Italy to get into the World Cup? That is huge. Chris Carter to 99 for the Vikings. Hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, Grizzmiz. Doesn't Ibrahimovic play for Sweden? I feel like he's Swedish. Keenan Allen, again. Second auto. For the Chargers. I'm going to need a top loader for that. Boo in the National Anthem, that's pretty disrespectful. Then again, Italians, uh, they go a little extreme for their soccer. Well, that's what they get. They took that l dog. Oh, damn. Well, I hope so. Damn. So he's not going to play in the World Cup? That sucks. Come on, Zlatan. Come back. Come back to Sweden. Now that they made the World Cup. <laughs> Greg Olsen to 299 for the Panthers. Panthers put a whooping on my Dolphins last night. Um, but uh, I am not um, surprised. Because we suck. We really suck. Andre Reed to 299 for the Bills. This is gonna have to get random. Three different teams on there. And that's it for that box. Panthers are your team to Mobile Legend. Well, congrats to your team. Putting an absolute spanking on my team. Yo, Grizzmiz, every time I talk to you, you say the same shit. Like, oh, I got a job interview this week. Oh, and I got a date too. Yo, do you have like X, like how many jobs do you have? One and two? Can you get a girlfriend already? Damn. You, like you got, you got to get your heart broke first. If you think you're gonna be a pimp, you got to get your heart broke first before you start turning into a pimp. You know, every pimp will tell you that. You got to get your heart broke first, man. It's 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 a standard. Like, 
If you want to be a pimp, you want to be a player, whatever, you got to get your heart broke first. Well, listen, going on bad dates is one thing. I've had my fair share of bad dates. Uh, but falling in love and then getting your heart broke, completely different story. I like I like my girls sassy. I like girls that are funny. I like girls that are a little bit weird. I mean, me. Per I've dated all kinds of girls. I've dated the preppy girls. I've dated the girly girls. I've dated tomboy girls. I've dated outside my race, within my race. Like I've been around. I've had my fun. And I'm still having my fun. Although, it'd be nice to have a girlfriend. It really would. That's the thing for me, because I, I I talk a lot of shit. So if I'm if I'm gonna have a girlfriend, she's gotta be able to put up with it and dish it back. You know what I mean? I like girls that can handle my shit talking and can talk shit back to me. I like that. I don't know, I don't know, but it just, uh, you feel me? Like, she can hang with the boys, she can hang with me and my boys, you know, and, and not let the boys just straight talk shit to her and, and, you know, not defend herself, or have me just strictly defending her, she can hold her own. Uh, LaShawn McCoy for the bill, so two ninety nine right there, let me move this up a little bit. I hear you, Grizzmas. I need me a strong, independent woman who don't need no man, too. Uh, that Emma Smith is going to have to get random. Multiple teams. I'll do those randoms all at once. Same thing with this. What do we have here? For the Colts to 189, Marlon Mack. With the autograph. How about them Hurricanes, baby? Ranked number two in the nation. We got to take care of business, though. We got to beat Virginia this upcoming weekend. And then we got to beat Pittsburgh the week after. Those dual teams will get randomed. For the Ravens, 30 out of 50, Steve Smith Sr. Oh, she asked you out and everything? Look at that. I need to move to Sweden. I need girls to ask me out. Hey, Uncle Jesse, you want to go out on a date? Yeah, girl, I guess. Oh, my God, he said I guess. Oh, my God. Jordan Willis to 299. Not gonna lie, no idea what his pro team is. But there it is. Dual teams that get random at the end. Anus Williams. I hope I pronounced that right. I tried anyway. For the Cardinals, Mr. Williams to 99. Chicka chicka wow wow. Nothing here. For the Giants, the 299 YA Tittle. Nothing here. For the Redskins, John Riggins. Number to 299 with the patch. Move some stuff around. Terrell Suggs with the sepia short print for the Ravens. You hit me in the DM. <laughs> uh, I'll check that out when I'm done with this mizzle. Anyways, what are, what are you doing here so late or so early? I don't know what time it is, Sweden time. It's either really early or really late out there. No idea. Go 
cruising down the street in my six foot. When is your interview, Grizzmiz? What are you interviewing for anyway? Like exactly what's what is what is the job you're interviewing for? I mean if you got an interview for McDonald's, you got the job. Don't worry, you got the job. A delivery job? Doing what? Like what are you delivering? Uh, the patches are from their jerseys, like actual game worn. Delivering electronics? That sounds a little weird. Oh, okay. So that's kind of like, kind of like a, a tech job, kind of. What do we call those Best Buy people? The Geek Squad. That's what they call them. I'm not sure if they have Best Buys in Sweden. They probably do. Um, but yeah, those are the, the Geek Squad guys. You know, they go they go to your house and hook up all the technology you buy and things of that nature. You've gotten denied for a McDonald's interview once? What the hell? How did you manage that? Dude, McDonald's hires everybody. You must have done something, Christmas. Like, you must have said the wrong thing or something. I don't know, man. I've literally never heard of that. You're the first person that, I, that I've ever heard saying, yo, I applied to McDonald's. I ain't get a job, dog. Like, I hate to say it, Christmas, but you had to have fucked up pretty decent to not have a job at McDonald's. That's like everybody's first job. It was my first job. Well, you know, on paper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you were late for the interview? Oh, no. What's up, Dan? So, you, you know, you come in this late and you want action? Shame on you. Joe Namath. To 299 for the Jets right there. Slanging that rock for life, son. Uh, Cody Williams, first things first. Read the description in the listing, my man. For the Bills to 189, Zay Jones. Um... You got to read the description of the listing, man. It'll it'll tell you when it'll break and what time. All right? Well, that's true. Better late than never. But, you know, your chances usually quadruple when you're early. And you say, you know, before I even open up a pack, you say, yo, Uncle Jesse, let me hit that. And I'll be like, all right. Phillip Rivers, Sepia for the Chargers. But you're right. Better late than never. You know, although if it doesn't come now, you know, don't be mad at me. You know, you know, I require um, tithes at the beginning of the break. You got to pay your tithes early, son. Anyway, Cody, like I said, if you didn't catch it the first time, man, make sure you read the description uh, underneath the listing. Because it does tell you break times to 50 Charles Harris. Uh, no McCaffrey. The Charles Harris going to, I think that's a Dolphins hit. Number to 50. Got these dual teams on there. That guy has to get random. Make sure it goes to the correct team. Do those randoms at the end of the break. The 
There you go, Dan. I mean, listen, whatever works for you, man. Whatever method works for you, that'll be the deal. No worries, Cody. AJ Green with the game worn relic to 299 for the Bengals. Bengals picked up a few relics there. That napkin patch for life, dog. Hassan Reddick to 299. I believe that's also a dolphin. Or I lied. I think that's a cardinal. The Hassan Reddick is a cardinal. Right? Look at that. I was right. Grizzmiz, shut your mouth. Ryan Tannehill to 299 for the Dolphins. You know, we really need to draft the quarterback in this upcoming draft. Uh, I got my eye on the Oklahoma quarterback. That kid is lights out, man. Uh, do I ever do betting? No, I, I am not a gambler, Bryson. Uh, I find that in order to be a gambler, you need you need to have money. Uh, and you know, I don't have that key ingredient, so I can't I can't really afford to bet. But who knows? You know, if I had money, I would probably be on the crap. You no, know, not the craps. I don't understand craps, but I do understand uh, the roulette table. Oh, dude, no disrespect, but Jake Cutler's a piece of shit. Like, ugh. tell me something I don't know, Mobile Legends. You know, he's trash. Matt Moore is trash. Ryan Tannehill is trash. So, uh, I, need, I need Mayfield on my squad. In my opinion, probably the best quarterback in the draft. If he comes out in the draft. Well, that's the thing, Dan. We're pretty decent at receiver. Like, if we keep our receiving core right now, it's not bad. But we need a quarterback. We need somebody to get them the ball. So Kevin Hogan is nice and all. And I wouldn't exactly call him trash. He's pretty solid. Um, he's I think, what is he, a, a Patriot? He's out there balling, doing his thing. Oh, Kevin, uh, for some reason, I mistook Kevin Hogan for that wide receiver uh, that the Patriots have. Who am I thinking of? Who am I thinking of? Oh, Chris Hogan. There you go. That was kind of close. But anyways, I'm, well, it just goes to show you, I, I have no idea who Kevin Hogan is. Uh, I think he plays for this for the Chiefs. Kevin Hogan. Uh, we do not, Bryson. We do not. <clears throat> yeah, listen. If 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 Jarvis Landry ends up in a Patriots uniform, that would be ridiculous. Oh, he got traded to the Browns. Ouch. Quarterback heaven out there in Cleveland. Nah, he's been sullied already. He got traded to the Browns. I don't want him. So, uh... I want Mayfield. I need brand new blood. Fresh blood. You know, if I was the GM, I would honestly cut everybody. I would cut everybody. I would keep certain players here and there. Like, I'm, I would keep Cameron Wake. I would cut Indomitian Sue. I would keep Rashad Jones. I like Tankersley, a rookie corner. <coughs> I 
Xavier Howard is solid too at corner. I'll keep Laramie Tunso. He's a good lineman. Uh, I would like to keep Jarvis Landry because that kid's a stud. Uh, Devontae Parker, if he could get healthy, could be a stud. Uh, I like Kenyon Drake. He showed off a little bit last night. Good for him. Uh, and Damian Williams, decent running back. Uh, but we really, we really just need to start over, man. Uh, Bryson, where do we store all our cards? And things called monster boxes, right there. I like Kiko Alonso. I like Kiko Alonso. I would keep Kiko, and he's a Miami kid, so, you know. So I would keep him. And by Miami, I mean you know he's cube of Cuban heritage. Jonathan Allen to two ninety nine. Uh, do we do not keep uh, cards that aren't numbered? We keep them, um, and we pretty much just burn them at the end of the year. We have a nice little kumbaya. To 299, Jameis Winston with the napkin for the Bucks. This is the last box mojo right here, y'all. So let's see what we're going to get. Why are you losing faith in me, Dan? I mean, I, t I told you what's, I told you what was going to happen. You should have you should have said something earlier. I told you this. So, you know, you have nobody to blame but yourself. 10 out of 50, Bob Greasy of the Dolphins. I think we do, Misha. I think we do. I'll be honest. Um, but I don't know. So, I'm stuck with sarcastic remarks because I really don't know what Gelf does with all that. Or Rod Woodson to 299 for the Steelers. I mean, if you guys look at the office, I got nothing but monster boxes stacked, stacked up to the ceiling. Full of just base cards. Uh, so what we do with them, honestly, I don't know. They just, they just stack up, man. Oh, as a Dolphins fan? Well, I mean, I'm going to say this much. I really don't care anymore. I'm so done with that team. They're a joke. Sammy Watkins, 299 for the Bills. <coughs> it's one thing if we sucked, and at least we were trying, but we're not even doing that. Our Darius Stewart for the Jets, to 25 right there. It's too expensive to ship, Bryson. That is my answer to that. <coughs> Costs too much money, bro. We do it for eBay, uh, but we don't do it uh, on our store breaks. It just sounds... It's way too expensive. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. J.J. Watt of the Texans with the sepia. Well, listen, that's me every single year, Dan, because since Dave Wanstead was our coach, we have been garbage. We've had a few seasons here and there where we make the playoffs, you know, with Chad Pennington and last year with uh, Coach Gase, but, you know, we, we, we barely make the playoffs, man. We're a joke. We're a joke. To 25 for the Eagles, Ryan Matthews. It would be one thing if they at least put effort, but they don't. They don't even show effort out there. With that being said, I'm still going to watch every single game of theirs. You know, I'm a fan for life. But it's really frustrating being a fan for an organization that just seems to be okay with being mediocre. Oh, dude, sat down? Sat down? That's an, that's an understatement, Dan. That is an understatement. All right, we're going to do some uh, randoms here. Uh, you'll notice some of these cards have uh, multiple players on them. 
Uh, I mean, not, besides multiple players, but multiple teams. I have a couple here that have three. Um, I have been separating them. There they are. So these have three teams on them. The left, middle, and right. So uh, that's how we're going to do the randoms. Left, middle, right. They did more than that. You know, it looks like they were doing their taxes already. You know, it was uh, all right, Dan. Have a good night, dude. No need to be nice. Oh yeah, I seen that meme. Uh, <laughs> I saw that meme, Grizzmiz. We put a whooping on those boys. We put a whooping on those boys. All right, I am still grabbing. Yeah, I'm randoming base cards because they have multiple teams right now. It's really not, Dan. It's really not. You know, and they spent all that money in the stadium when they should have turned that, put that money into getting a GM that actually knows football. Dude, the, turn, the turnover chain is the greatest thing ever, ever. Why can't I find my teams? There we go. What is this? Football. You know, thank God for the Hurricanes. Because if it was not for the Hurricanes, I'd be pretty depressed right now. Anyways, let's uh, put this random up on the screen here. I put all teams down. Well, you know, at least the Marlins in the 90s they won championships and in 2003 as well but whatever the heat don't suck the heat are great the marlins suck dolphins suck but the heat do not suck watch your fucking mouth grizzmiz before you get banned forever you grizzmiz you really about to get banned you really about to get you're 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 about you're super close to getting banned um i'm a dumbass i have i don't know why i put up all those teams when I just need to do uh, left, middle, right. All right, Dan, have a good night, bro. Where are my dice at? The Red Sox are going to trade for him? Well, good for him, man. Good for him. You know, I could care less about the Marlins. But the Heat and Dolphins... You can talk about the Dolphins. They suck. Do not talk about the Heat. Ever. Unless we suck. Uh, the Mobile Legend. I'm doing a random for these cards. Uh, you see how they have multiple teams. So I'm doing the random left, middle, and right. So it'll go to the, uh, you know, either the team on the left, the middle, or the right. Celtics have been balling, man. Celtics have been balling. But uh, with that being said, they're not going to make the finals. They they still can't beat Cleveland in a seven-game series. <laughs> and, and the fact that people think they can is honestly kind of funny. All right, so it's going to go to the team on the right. Tatum is balling, yeah. Uh, so is Sammy, and so is Jalen Brown. They got a lot of good young players, um, but they're still not going to make the finals. And now we're going to do the random for these. You see how on the front they have multiple teams, two teams to be exact, on the left and on the right. Uh, so that's how we're going to do that random, straight left or right. Uh, we're going to go nine times. See, Stanton in a Cardinal uniform, and that's a baseball town, could be amazing. And that's that's the shame with the Marlins is, you know, we're, we are somewhat of a baseball town, but there's so much to do in Miami 
that if you suck, we're not going to support you. Like, why would I go support a crappy team? I live in Miami, bro. I can go do whatever I want. I'm not going to go watch a team lose. Fuck that. It's Miami. I'm going to go downtown and go do something. I, I, I didn't miss the joke. Uh, it just was not funny, Grizzmas. Try again. Uh, so it's going to go to the team on the right. Front of the card. So this will go to the Bears. This will go to the Cowboys. This one will go to the Chiefs. Etc. Etc. So it will go to the team on the right. Boom. Boom. Yeah, fair weather fan base, except when it comes to football. I will say this. When it comes to football, we have a pretty decent fan base. You know, we'll support the Dolphins because, you know, we're just old school like that. But uh, not so much the Heat or the Marlins because they're, they're newer franchises. Uh, but the Dolphins do get support no matter what. And that's actually pretty cool. All right, let's recap these autographs here. So we have our Darius Stewart. That'll go to the Jets. Zay Jones, Bills. Marlon Mack, Colts. And two Keenan Allens. One number to 25, the other number to 10 for the Chargers. And that was the break, guys. 2017 Panini. Classics football, half case, that's a five box break, number six, eBay style. Thank you very much.